Let's take a look at how to make a quiz or a survey in Canvas. From my home page in the course that I want to make the quiz or survey, I go over on the left menu and click the word quizzes. Mine is grayed out because I have not made this menu item viewable to students. When I click on quizzes, it takes me to the quizzes landing page. Here are all of the quizzes I have created for this class. To make a new one, I'll click the blue square with plus symbol quiz. This is the Add Quiz button. On this new quiz landing page, I'm prompted to first give my quiz a name. I'll name this one My First Canvas Quiz. Underneath of the new name form field, it asks for my settings. This is where I'll put in instructions for the students. In this rich text editor, I can also add links to resources embed anything from an LTI, or even upload record media. Also underneath of the instructions area, it asks me what type of quiz I'm creating. I have four choices in Canvas. I can either create a practice quiz, which will grade the students but not populate this gradebook. I can do a graded quiz, which will go into the student's grade. I can do a graded survey, which doesn't have any correct or incorrect answers, but does give the students a grade for completing the survey or an ungraded survey, which has no correct or incorrect answers and does not populate the gradebook in any way. I'm also going to select what assignment group this goes into. If I've made groups for my assignments, they'll populate in this window here. Some other options I have are shuffling answers. I can give my quiz a time limit. I can also allow multiple attempts. Now like in many of the options, clicking on one will provide you with an additional menu item. Now I can decide if I allow the students multiple attempts on this quiz, do I want to keep the highest score, their latest score, or average all of their attempts? I can also determine the number of attempts allowed. So I'm going to allow every student in this class three attempts, and I'm going to keep their highest score. I can also decide if students are going to see the quiz responses when they're finished. I can set that to be only after their last attempt, only once after each attempt, or I can let students see the correct answers at a certain time. So I'll say show correct answers at May 31st. That way I know all the students have had a chance to take the quiz before the weekend and no one sees the correct answers until they're all submitted. I can also tell the quiz to hide correct answers at a certain time. So if I'm going to teach this unit again, I might say, hide the correct answers starting on June 1st. That way nobody will see correct answers after they've taken this course. Additionally, I can select show one question at a time. And if I do this, lock the questions after each student answers them. Some of the restrictions I can put in place are an access code. So maybe I'll make a password, like Canvas or I can filter by IP address. This would allow me to lock down the quiz so it can only be taken perhaps at school or on a campus. Finally, in my settings, I can determine if this class is going to be for everyone or a specific section. I can give the quiz a due date and set the times that it's available. So, since I set my quiz up so that it will only show answers up until Sunday, the 31st, I'll set that as my due date, and I'll make this quiz available only from today through the due date. Once I'm finished with these settings, I can click the Save button. 